Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Bit of a different video today because I'm on the move so I'm trying to record this as best as I can. It might be a bit noisy so apologies for that uh, but we'll see what we can do. A bit of a different layout because it's a screen recorder on my phone but hopefully it's okay. So we are on the website of Amati Auctions and they have a sale up, the Makers Sale, which is finishing on the 30th of August. It's just about the 28th today. Uh, so a couple of days left to go. So this sale is basically um, mainly tools and wood and things to do with kind of making violins, etc. A few other bits and books and stuff. A few bits of violins that need to be restored. But in general, it's stuff for makers or trainee makers or maybe people that are interested in the craft. So it might not be interesting to everyone. We're just going to blitz through this because, like I said, I'm not on an ideal platform for recording at the moment. But there are some interesting things. So let's just kind of see what we've got. 22% um, is the buyer's premium on this particular auction as standard for Amati. Uh, and this is a UK-based auction. So if you're looking to uh, purchase anything, bear that in mind. Import, export fees, kind of all of that fun stuff. Maybe CITES uh, restrictions as well. And just to say, if you do enjoy these videos, please consider uh, liking, commenting or subscribing because it really does help. So without further ado, because um, we need to get through it quickly, let's just see what we have. So first of all, there's a violin, it's lot one. Looks like it needs a fair bit of uh, kind of work on this one. We won't be able to zoom in the pictures so much, unfortunately, on this video, but you get the, the idea. Um, looks like a, an interesting ish violin interesting upright f holes a lot of work to be done on that though so it's fairly substantial repair project for some of the back doesn't look quite so exciting uh unlabeled current bid is 60 pounds estimate 10 to 20 actually everything in this auction is estimate 10 to 20 so uh yeah i think that's kind of interesting next we have another violin here looks like the neck is detached some other damages and things like that this one has some interesting corners, but difficult to make out what's going on. Once again, a fair bit of work needed on that. Scroll is interesting. It's got a Strad label there. Current bid 230 on that one. Seems quite a lot, but in uh, any case, interesting project. Then we have another violin. This one looks in a bit of a state of disrepair. Let's see kind of what's going on. Looks fairly kind of standard let's see what else is going on yeah, a few open cracks and replace bits current bid 50 on that's probably about the maximum that i would kind of consider for something like that have another violin here i think so this is a violin by julian emery there were actually lots of instruments by this maker um in one of the amati sales a little while ago 475 on this uh, I presume this is one that kind of sold and then maybe kind of ended up back in the sale. It looks interesting enough, but once again, it needs a bit of work and kind of set up stuff on that, but uh, not too bad. I don't think this stuff the last time around sold for that much, so interesting to see that that price is so high. Then we have another violin, which I think is another incomplete violin by Julian Emery, 250 bid on that, so once again, fair bit of work on that let's see what else we have another violin here i think this is a half size or something yeah half size violin it's interesting enough nothing too crazy on that it's like probably german 40 pounds current bid on that which i think is is fair enough what else we've got here i think this is a collection of uh, violins if I remember correctly, so it's a bit difficult to look all of this in this current setup. But I don't think there's anything too crazy in here. There aren't really many instruments in this auction at all. Um, so four violins. Wow, current bid five hundred pounds. That seems uh, interesting. I, I don't really know what's going on with prices at the moment on auctions because I think people are just going a bit bonkers at the moment uh, i'm not sure why but some of the price is going crazy this i thought was an interesting lot this is an old cello neck looks like it's probably german or something 30 pounds a bit on that i mean that's an interesting lot 
but that will probably go for crazy money as well with the way that these uh, auctions are going. Uh, then we have here a body of a violin, partially made, current bid 50. Once again, kind of difficult to say on that. Another kind of bits of a partially made violins, 10 to 20. So that's kind of curious. This I thought was kind of interesting. Um, a part of a violin, 80 is the current bid on that. It just looks quite interesting actually when you kind of look in. It's obviously in a pretty bad state, but quite a nice kind of wood, some of the nice edge work on that. So that I'd quite like to look at a bit more closely, but interesting looking violin. So there are some curious bits in here. This lot I thought was quite interesting as well, kind of partially made viola so that is curious 70 pounds bid on that so if you're looking for a viola project that could be fairly cool there's also a one front and back of a viola and one violin back pre-cut once again if you're looking for a project or something and you want to do something that's already been started then that could work for you We've got some other bits here. What's this? Three violin fronts pre-cut. And we're into wood now. So I think what I'm going to do is go to the main catalog where we can see things a bit better and scroll through uh, in this setup so we can see some of the interesting bits here. Now we're into kind of wood cello fronts here. Nothing super exciting so far on any of these. To be quite honest, they're all fairly kind of standard. We'll go to the next page and see more fronts here. I'm not seeing anything of any super duper quality or anything standing out here. So we'll just kind of skip through uh, this. Like I said, if you're interested in kind of making some bits, there's an interesting cello back there, maple cello back. Uh, it's a load of violin fronts. If you're interested in making something, you want to buy some cheaper wood, then I think there's some good stuff here. Um, at least good for practicing, but I think there's nothing of any kind of super, super kind of high level here. It's a load of violin fronts. I think there's a couple of interesting uh, backs that we'll probably see at some point. More violin fronts. This is all fairly standard stuff. I don't think it's amazing some backs here that's just some quite nice figure on that same here but they're a little bit over the place i think there's a couple of lots somewhere here that's quite a nice four violin backs maple quite a nice figure on those these ones as well four violin backs maple quite nice 40 pounds the current bid on those some more maple backs that's quite a nice lot one viola back and two violin backs maple it's quite nice uh wood on that or to my taste anyway two violin backs maple yeah, some more stuff here one piece violin backs some interesting scroll blocks some nice figure on some of those let's see we've got here a piece of poplar piece of spruce more pieces of poplar load of kind of blocks of pernambuco massive slab of ebony there load of violin ribs i think there's tons of stuff like this but it's not really super exciting to look at there's loads more ribs here some base bar stuff scroll blocks random bits of uh, kind of wood lots of pernambuco kind of blanks and bits and bobs here boxes of wood so there are i think there are quite a lot of tools somewhere some more blanks, just a whole random selection of things. There's loads of strings as well. These all look like they're probably bulk buy Chinese uh, made strings, but I guess maybe good if you just need some cheap strong strings even for some younger students. Might uh, work out. Looks like there's a whole load of cello strings here and potentially other instruments as well so we've got a few more pages to look at and i think there's a load of strings here 
yeah violin strings as well i'm sure there's viola strings yeah here we are just a whole load of strings it's not super interesting uh, to us but it is there other types of better strings there got a four plane record stanley plane there woodworking planes other planes some nice brass thumb planes there they're always going to be popular some frogs interesting collection there bow adjuster some loads of uh, end pins here it's quite a lot of stuff let's see what else we've got more end pins so c of end pins there loads of pegs as well mechanical pegs it's kinds more end pins loads of pegs we can just blitz through that see two tapered reamers fairly nice load of gouges some nice looking gouges and chisels chisel set some various chisels some gouges um, let's see what else is here some clamps some specialist clamps there tail pieces some random bits of varnish and stuff spool clamps more varnish stuff violin forms base bar clamps other clamps sound post stuff some scroll heads so a real mixture some more gouges quite interesting needle files random brackets thickness caliber hackliner gauge they're always quite popular i think that will probably go for a lot of money because i think they're quite hard to get and uh, i think they're quite expensive in the first uh, port uh, four measuring calipers peg shavers some bow hair some knives clamps other tail pieces more tail pieces there are quite a lot of uh, tail pieces here there's some fingerboards bridges and fittings base bridges a whole load of cello bridges quite interesting selection there we're getting towards the uh, the end now more bridges let's see what else we've got here let's more fingerboards some squares bending iron they're always popular peg shavers some knives calipers hand drill uv live it's interesting some resin some plaster or resin casts of various kind of high-end instruments there some bow hair bow rehead jig rosins another rehead jig i think we're getting very close now bridge fitting tool sharpening stones peg brushing tool sort of drill bits files marking gouge purfling cutter it's quite a nice old brass one straight edge chin rests forms templates bow makers tensioning line that's kind of interesting to see you don't see those that often like the hill shop way of kind of making a bow and kind of tensioning it uh before you kind of have the hair making sure it's straight and things so it's interesting to see that in the auction some assorted tools carving and repair jig peg shaver some bow bits i think there's some quite nice items in that box of bow related stuff some more sound posts some more specialist kind of brass clamps there neck clamps sound post setters end pins interesting swivel jig so i think we're on to the final thing a load of mutes there bow fittings chisel some interesting resin cast there from a viola some strad resin cast they'll probably go well christie's catalog so more sotheby's cat uh, catalogs there so we're onto the standard books that we usually see benjamin banks etc this is all the fairly standard stuff viome etc uh, and I think that's it. I think we've seen the whole auction. So a few interesting things here and there. Nothing too crazy. Um, some things seem to be going for pretty high money. Um, I'm not sure why. Interesting that this lot of four violins is already at £500. Maybe there's something in there that someone has seen. I don't know. But uh, curious auction anyway. And if you're interested in buying wood and making or thinking of making, that might be a good auction for you. So um yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll put a link in the description as always. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.